Guys, the contents of this video will probably mean nothing to most of you at home, but it means everything to me. You see, point blank, I believe that I have become the target of the matrix and that there is a force at play that I am unable to see, feel, hear, smell, or even taste that is purposefully working against me. That's right, the matrix is real. I mean, do you think that's air you're breathing? So humor me for a moment, okay? Because I need you guys at home watching this video right now to be the judge and jury of this entire situation. Tell me that I am not crazy. A game by the name of Splatoon 3 announces its first official Splatfest contest. A Splatfest, for those of you who don't know, is simply an all-out race war between these three candidates. Shiver, Fry, and Big Man. In the first game, the contestants can choose between rock, paper, and scissors. The classic one, two, three punch. And uh, yeah, I assume that everybody in the entire contest knew that rock was the most popular, therefore they would default to paper, the one that would defeat the rock. Assuming that that's what the masses would choose. Therefore, I chose paper, but I was wrong. I thought too hard and rock won in the end anyway. And uh, yeah, I suffered my first defeat, thought nothing of it. The next Splatfest is announced with the theme being, what should you bring to a deserted island? Team Gear, Team Grub, or Team Fun? This is the first Splatfest where I publicly announce who I'm voting for, Team Grub. Which makes sense because you need food to eat, to live. Like, yeah, I get it, Team Gear would be great too, but I assume that if you pick Team Gear, that you can't have food because that would defeat the purpose of having one or the other, right? So I just assume you would either choose having gear to maybe get off the island or choose food so that you can guarantee your life. I literally chose life over death and lost, and not even to Team Gear. I lost to Team Fun. At this point, I knew I was dealing with some kind of sick, chaotic hive mind. Who in the world would want to go to an island and have fun and then starve to death? I didn't get it, but I'm 0-2 at this point. The next Splatfest is announced and it's surrounding around the whole Pokemon Scarlet and Violet game, basically forcing you to choose between Team Fire, Team Leaf, and Team Water. At this point, I tell myself, there's no way that I'm losing again, okay? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, you fool me once, can't get food again. And of course, I chose fire like any sane human being in the world would. I mean, come on, like fire starter types are the home of some of the best Pokemon. They got Chimchar, they got Fuecoco, they got Charmander who evolves into Charizard. I mean, Cyndaquil, I mean, Litten, Scorbunny, you, you name it. And not only did I lose, but my team came in last place Again, how is it possible that not only have I lost three times in a row, but I've chosen the team that has lost the worst out of each three every single time? I'm convinced at this point that the game is rigged against me. The internet, also known as the Matrix, antagonizes me with memes, pointing and laughing at my so-called bad luck, when I know this isn't luck, this is the Matrix. I'm being targeted. It's either that or they were just being racist against my girl Fry. <laughs> At this point, you know how this works, okay? Another race war is at play. It's Team Spicy versus Team Sweet versus Team Sour. I triumphantly tweeted this time. The only legit two options are Team Spicy and Team Sour. Team Spicy for the win. This time, I vouch for two picks to see if specifically I am being targeted directly by the agents of the Matrix. I lose again. Team Sweet wins, I'm 0 and 4. Which at this point makes no sense, okay? And it's really starting to grind my gears, okay? I get it, you know? Team Sweet, everyone likes sugar, yada, yada, yada. You know what else likes sugar? Freaking diabetes, diabetes, okay? Really, really bad for you. So if you eat the sugar, it's bad for you and you freaking die. But you know what spice? Spice is the spice of life or something like that, okay? There have been wars. People have gone to wars for spice, literally for years, hundreds of thousands of years. It's one of the most powerful things on this planet. Imagine eating food without any freaking spice. And even if you'd equivalent it to spiciness, how do you not like a little bit of heat with your food or your flavor, a little bit of chili? I'm frustrated because spice is a clear, strong contender. But not only did spice lose, they got last place. Team Sour was able to beat Team Spice. Huh? You telling me that sour things are more popular than spice? The most powerful ingredient in life all over the world? You expect me to believe that this is not the agent with the matrix at play trying to bring me down, huh? Is it... <laughs> this is the most recent Splatfest. At this point, I am the laughing stock of the internet and every team that I pick, everyone chooses something else so that they can win. The new Splatfest unveils the theme, what's the best chocolate? Team Dark Chocolate, 
team milk chocolate or team white chocolate. That's right, guys. We have another clear race war at play. Now, at this point, I know that victory is mine and is assured, okay? I went on the internet and I tweeted, milk chocolate wins this 100%. There's no way I lose this time. I am guaranteed victory. This is the winning team. And if my team does not win, it will confirm that the Splatfest is rigged and I am being targeted by the Matrix. And this time, most of the replies actually agree with me. A lot of them are saying, you know what, Omni, this is the one that you win, okay? You finally won your first Splatfest. I assume these people probably weren't agents of the Matrix, but they are still a part of the Matrix. However, there are still people in the comments waiting for me to choose which team I will choose, and then they have purposely decided to choose either dark chocolate or white chocolate to vehemently make sure that I do not come out on top. Conspiracy Geek said, after all this time, Omni, I may have to agree with you, milk chocolate is peak, that's not going to stop me from asking Nintendo to rig it, though. A very clear example of the Matrix at play. Gary the Lion said, I've learned to bet against Omni. Dexco said, I'm going to be real with you, Omni. It has to win. There is no way milk chocolate doesn't win. Another agent of the Matrix, Power, said, time for me to get my W by choosing either dark chocolate or white chocolate. Skull emoji. Cam6 said, another L. Good luck next time. At High Roller VT said, I like white and milk but I kind of want to choose white or dark this time to just keep the meme of you losing going. Bro, like, <sighs> come on, come on, man, come, <laughs> come on. And as you guys have probably already surmised, I lost again. But not only did I lose, I got swept. Team White Chocolate won every category and stole every single point. Team Milk Chocolate and Team Dark Chocolate got zero points the entire Splatfest on Black History Month. Ain't that a bitch. Apparently, if you chose Team White Chocolate during the Splatfest, you got to use white ink, which means you literally got to come on niggas. I didn't account for the horny. Never underestimate the horny. So yeah, guys, that's the end of my tragic story. I'm 0-5 right now, and every single team that I seem to choose ends up dead last. Milk Chocolate was supposed to be my surefire end of my losing streak, and I still lost. So I've concluded the only conclusion that anyone could conclude. The Matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. I can't believe I died of Logan Paul. I, he was telling the truth this entire time. Anyway, for those of you at home who are smart and listen to this entire thing, tell me that I am not crazy. Tell me that the Matrix is not real. Tell me I am not being targeted by the agent. How is it possible that one man can hold so many L's at one time? Okay, lie to me. Lie to my face and tell me right now that there is not some secret agents at Nintendo right now watching this video plotting my future demise. I am being looked at. They want me to lose. They want your boy to fail on Black History Month. All the evidence points to sabotage. Lie to my face and tell me that that is not the case. Bars. And also, I don't plan on losing the next Splatfest at all, okay? I am declaring right here on this channel. If I lose the next Splatoon 3 Splatfest, I will be officially deleting my YouTube channel. No cap. It's happening. This is officially a high risk game. You're probably wondering, Omni, why would you risk it all? Because I'm already risking it all by just existing, okay? If I don't get rid of these agents, if I don't prove that the Matrix isn't real, if I don't defeat them, then I will be followed forever and then eventually, yeah, things will come to my demise anyway. It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, so I better fight back, okay? So yeah, look for the next Splatfest. I will not lose, and if I lose, I'll make the video and we'll be out there. All right, bye.